uh, I guess, a live episode of uh, the Finance, Finance Guy. I think as you can tell, um, I'm, I guess, in a small little uh, staycation. So the uh, Kuala Lumpur has already opened. And um, yeah, I just thought that I'll just uh, uh, travel somewhere and, um, you know, uh, just get out of the house. I was going half crazy already. So anyway, uh, good evening. I hope all you guys are doing okay. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to have uh, a live session just to, to talk to you guys. I think in the, li in the previous live session, I talked a little bit about uh, <laughs> a, a topic which I already forget. Uh, but uh, I think in this live session, uh, it's as per the subject, which is, is working hard. Uh, really, uh, does it really uh, is the most important determinant towards our success? Uh, in this case, wealth, right? So, uh, for this, I, I ask myself this question uh, many times, you know, uh, whether working hard, does it really lead towards someone's success, right? So, the answer is yes and no, okay? And th this is the reason why, okay? So, um, back in the day, right, when I first started working uh, as an auditor, right, this is when I first graduated, right? And I think what some of the advice parents and uncles and aunties tend to give me is like, work hard, you know, and you will succeed, you know. And the funny thing is, uh, after a couple of years right now meeting my friends, right, a lot of us in terms of work, uh, work the work ethic is quite high, but different people are in different stages in their life. Some people are doing so successful and some people are so deep in debt. And I always wonder why. I, I, you know, in, in my head as a financial analyst, right, I always want to dig. Why does it happen? Why didn't it happen? You know, the main determinant is I always thought it was hard work. If someone works hard, that will really lead to success, right? And uh, quite recently, I actually stumbled upon this idea and I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, I know some, some, some of you guys are in your 20s, you know, uh, or... Or some of you guys just started working. Some of you guys are still studying, you know. And, and you know, uh, this is a time where there's a lot of questions and there's a lot of exploration and, and experimentation, right? So, for me, okay, and this is only for me, right? When I first started working, I used to work in an audit firm, right? And when I first started in, uh, working in an audit firm, I still remembered, and this is a big four. I think it's De Deloitte. I think one of the top two or top three in the world. And I still remembered uh, when I got in the office, right? And the phone was buzzing, all the seniors were running around. It was so much of energy, right? And I still remember, I, I, I used to tell myself, you know, and this is what my aunties and uncles, and even my dad uh, tell me, you know, work hard, see what the seniors are doing, follow them, and that will lead to your success. And I still remember talking to my seniors. I said, hey, guys, well, you know, what do you guys do? And uh, my seniors used to give me this, this particular advice. At that point in time, I was very junior, right? So I didn't know a lot of things. So they used to tell me things like, if a partner, partner is uh, someone which is very high in the organization, were to come, uh, there's this term called look like busy. So, so they said, always look stressed, always look like you're busy, always, you know, take some paper and start running around. And, you know, uh, and, I, and for me, when I first started working, right, I thought that was a way to success, right? So, uh, I still remember after working for the Big Four for about three, four years. Uh, after a while, in the beginning, I thought it was really silly. You know, I just graduated. I, I, you know, and as a fresh grad, I really wanted to change the world. I really thought that I have the enough energy. I have the, the, the intelligence. I could make a difference, right? And after a while, looking at all, <laughs> all my seniors do this, right? I became a really good pretender so to speak you know I, I i was working hard towards pretending and uh what what eventually happened was that uh, i i created very little value and after maybe the third fourth year i wasn't really moving anywhere and rightfully so right and until i became a financial analyst when i became a financial analyst man um uh, that was when my career picked up right yeah if any of you guys want to be a financial analyst you know, just write in, in the comment sections, we can talk a little bit about this, right? So what a financial analyst d uh, does is ba uh, basically uh, we, we pick stocks, right? And at, at that point in time, uh, the Malaysian economy, crude oil prices were, were, you know, moving upwards. 
And uh, it was a very exciting time for the stock market. And I became a financial analyst, you know, and I felt so honoured. I think in my previous video, I, I, I talked a little bit about this, right? Uh, despite me being also dyslexic, right? Uh, I became a financial analyst. You know, it was always in my, my thoughts. In, and always it, I always had that goal towards uh, achieving that, that, that particular, I guess, uh, job, right? And once I, I entered that job, I still remembered. Uh, I wasn't the best, right? I wasn't the best. I wasn't good in numbers uh, in terms of writing also, you know, Malaysian ed. <laughs> I, I studied in uh, not, not, not the best school. So, uh, my, my writing also, macam tunggang langgang, grammar pun teruk, right? So, I still remembered I was... Uh, normal people were put in probation for three months. I was put in probation for, I think, six months to a year. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah. And... Uh, Simply because I couldn't quite write properly, I couldn't quite count properly, so there were so many things against me. But having said that, I always had that passion. I always wanted to, to stock pick. I always wanted to make passive income. I always wanted to, um, yeah, I always wanted, I, I love investing. I love, I love, love it. So despite all of these uh, things that, that were going against me, I worked really hard when when my when my friends used to leave uh 5 30 from work i would stay up to eight nine o'clock and i wasn't pretending to work <laughs> this time i was really really working i was uh looking at uh, analyst reports i was calling other analysts from uh, uh, other bigger banks you know at that point in time i knew some friends over in namura i knew some uh friends over in macquarie you know all of this uh australian uh american uh, Japanese banks, you know, and we used to talk and, and we used to spend hours and hours talking. And on top of that, after I finished work, I used to go back home and study for my CFA. Uh, CFA, if you guys uh, are curious, uh, if you guys want to be a, fi a financial advisor or you guys want to be, you know, a stock picker, a CFA is a Certified Financial Analyst. This is where you study the basics, you know. Uh, uh, you, this is where you, you read um, the financial well-being of a company this is where you read the markets the, the technicality you have all the uh you 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 learn statistics you know it's it's an amazing subject for me i yeah uh so what i used to do was study uh, i used to work from in the morning right to eight to or nine o'clock at night go back home take a shower and then study for my cfa and i did that for about five to eight years i think of my life Needless to say, uh, at that point in time, my career really, really catapulted. Uh, I got, you know, job offers, as I mentioned, to in, in a couple of international banks, right? And um, yeah, it's, uh, and, and right now, I'm, I'm lucky enough, you can see, um, you know, just, just traveling around Kuala Lumpur in, in, in you know, nicer, nicer locations to, to, to I guess, to, to, to do a small uh, staycation. But the point of it all, right? Rather hard work, uh, why some people, when they look like they're working hard and they, they, it goes to nowhere. And some people, when even though they put, you know, some, some form of effort, they get a lot uh, coming back to them. Sim simply the case of this, right? It's simply the case. Let me tell you guys this story to cement what I'm trying to say over here. Once there were two people, right? It's a village, right? Uh, the village headman noticed that a lot of people used to go back and forth to, to take water from the river, right? One day, he was sick and tired of everyone, you know, going back and forth uh, to, to get water. He took two people, right? One person is a smart one, one person is a, uh, is a guy with a lot of strength, right? So, what happened was a, uh, the smart one actually disappeared after he, he allowed them maybe a five-year contract to take water back and forth. But the, the strong one actually took the water back and forth. He bought two pails, took the water back and forth. For, so, for the first six months, right, the, the strong one, you know, he made lots and lots and lots of money, right? And, uh, but the, the smart one, everyone in the village was so disappointed, he went missing. Until one day, six months down the road, what happened was the smart one actually came back with a couple of people. Right now, what it is, he got architects, he got people that actually knows how to build pipes, so on and so forth. And these architects actually uh, draw, drew out a plan on how to move water from the river to the village. Right? And once they already built that particular thing, they just turned on the water and the water just came on. And it was consistent for the rest of uh, the villagers' uh, time. So right now, today, I'm asking all of you guys, right? 
uh, every every time when you guys think of uh, before you guys put put some effort in, in anything, ask yourself: Is this the best? Um, is this the best? I guess uh, plan for all the effort. Will this give me the most ROIs in terms of how much time I'm investing on this particular effort? Always know your ROIs. Always know your returns. And always ask yourself, is this the most efficient way of doing things? Right? And that's a small little advice I have. In fact, if you guys notice, right, the channel, I was very quiet for the longest time. Right? Very quiet. You, you guys will notice. In terms of my stock pick, right? You notice, hibiscus, I think I made about 70-80%. AirAsia X. No, it's not, not AirAsia X. AirAsia. AirAsia, the, the parent company made about 40-50% and I just kept quiet the whole time. Why? Because I believe in passive income. I believe in investing one and then just like chill lah, you know, let the, the, the investment grow. Um, I think, uh, I can dagang next also, I think that one. That one four times in, in value. It's like, uh, it's insane, right? I mean, you know, I, I, I don't really talk about stocks all the time. You know, we don't have to dissect the market and, you know, I don't know, do like random things, run up and down and try to make, make, make sense of things. It's too much of noise. For me, work smart. No, uh, okay, look at the economical situation, no, economic, yeah, economic uh, situation of the country. Look at what companies are going to be uh, affected and then be smart. Invest once. Don't have to, don't complicate something simple. Investing for me is so simple. I, I think if you uh, guys look at my older stock picks, notice that most of them, most of them, not all, uh, most of them, actually made okay, okay money, right? Just look at all my older stock picks, right? Okay, guys, um, uh, yeah, it's just pretty much, I just wanted to br bring up this particular subject. You know, uh, when, you, when we first graduate, you know, uh, it's a really confusing time, right? There's so many people giving us all, all sorts of uh, advice. My, my, my small little advice, which I follow for myself, is, Always look at the results. If, if you see the person working much less and having much more results for the same amount of time, uh, try to look at that, how that person is doing things. So let me repeat that again. If you look at a person spending less time, less effort, but getting a lot more results compared to someone working like mad, you know, and taking maybe double the time, maybe the person which is working less and having more efforts, maybe he's doing something right. Okay, in investment terms, we call this ROI, return on investment, right? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to sit here while I twiddle my thumbs and uh, ask you guys for any questions, if you guys have any. Okay, so um, right now, yeah. <laughs> um, hey, Alpha. It's been, a, it's been a while. I know. Yeah, too lah. Because I, I noticed that, uh, you know, I, I, in terms of stock picking, I, you know, I'm, I'm quite okay lah, you know, I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite decent. Cuma in terms of my discipline in creating content too, memang hancos. So, so I noticed all the other channels, which actually started almost the same time as me, they actually uh, managed to grow much faster. So I, I'm telling myself, you know, if I have something good to say, just share it already. So... I know I may not be the most polished. I I I think I, I did a short video about this. Uh, my chum. You know, uh, sometimes I get in this trap and I'm going to share with you guys this advice. Never compare ourselves with anyone, right? Sometimes I compare myself with all the other channels. I feel so inferior. Tengok, tengok, my chum. They have great sounds. They have great punya, um, punya background, you know? And I, I just never wanted to shoot a video until I told myself, look, it's all about the content. If you guys are happy, uh, you know, uh, if you guys are happy, that's that's a little. Hi, Hung. Nice to uh, nice to see you guys over here. If you guys uh, take some some I guess uh, some benefit from from this, you know, uh, I'm I'm the happiest person. And my 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 whole intent is to make investing simple. Betul betul, it's so simple. You look at how all my stock picks, guys. You will notice a lot of them uh, flew up already. I always make things simple, and it always made sense. You know, you don't have to follow all these crazy apa tu, uh, quarterly results. Lah, apa ke. So, yeah, I mean, for me, you know, um, and it worked for me. I mean, I work in the financial industry for about 15 years. So, yeah, and and, oh, uh, and, and right now, I'm also working for a, for a fintech company. I'm also going to create content. So, watch out for that. 
um yeah thanks thanks hung thanks alpha for 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 saying hi at least i know you know <laughs> i'm not creating content for myself and uh yeah it's is 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 you guys that actually push me forward thank you so very much um yeah i think i'll just uh chill for a little while um uh, and uh if there's any other questions um i'll just uh just wait for meanwhile uh while 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 uh, we are just you know I, I i just want to know uh, from you guys um can you share what you did freshly after uh, graduating okay hung thanks for the question uh after i graduated to tell you the truth i actually uh worked um i guess i wanted to work but at that point in time was also another economic crisis can you imagine that Malaysia banyak economic crisis and i actually waited for one year to work right and at that point in time i still remembered uh, a lot of people you know they used to be, you know this thing lah we like to compare kan so they were uh, every time ask me at what age do you start working and i felt so inferior you know compared to the to the rest that that started working much earlier but at the end of the day right i'll tell you guys this one thing right it's not how fast or it's not how much of uh, activity you do rather it's the direction you guys are going right if you guys have a clear direction in your head and and you have a clear path then you you take that path every day you reach there tapi kalau you don't have any direction uh and this happens uh i know this 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 story is actually very much like, simplistic right if you play a game you want to beat the boss you know it's very simple right or in in real life right i'll tell you an example in real life and it happened to me always have a vision in your head what you want right most people when you ask them right and i can tell you also, uh, a lot of my friends 95% of my friends all afraid semua takut nak bergerak serious when we were all working in the bank we got okay okay salary lah right so uh, they asked me what i want to do and <laughs> I told them I want to be a YouTuber. They thought I was crazy. Uh then tengok tengok. Okay, I'll tell you guys this. I became a YouTuber after one year being you, a YouTuber. This this is like a calling card tau. Uh to to tell to tell people, okay, this is what I do, you know. People look at your content. If you look at my LinkedIn, a lot of big in- investment banks are actually looking at my LinkedIn. On top of that, I got this job uh uh based on my YouTubing experience and they want me to YouTube for them. So this is the most amazing thing, right? So right now, I guess what I'm want to uh, what I'm trying to say is always remember the ROIs. How much of effort or what you guys want first? What do you guys want first most important? How do you get there with very minimal effort? Right? And how do you get there with very minimal time? And the trick over here is this. Kalau you go to YouTube, a lot of YouTube tutorial videos, you know, uh they 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 can teach you things right but again uh right now we live in this era where there's so much of knowledge right to make a decision is so confusing there's so much of noise honestly so my 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 advice over here is always pick a teacher which you can uh kamcheng lah or you can you 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 know you can understand the teacher you like the person's why the first thing second you always look at the results of the teacher If the teacher macam tot 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 at an end of the day macam tak ada result then susah sikit lah right so i always look at the result the teacher has i feel lost after graduate from diploma ah don't worry don't worry uh when <laughs> i i actually work as an accountant uh when i was dyslexic i, I don't know whether you guys know this story uh for 3 years now of my life I couldn't read numbers kan. So <laughs> it was it was one of the most horrible thing. I still remember one day my senior actually asked me, "So are you sure you want you want this job?" Uh, you know, he he you know, uh yeah. And at that point in time I felt like, "Wow." Uh macam uh, you know, uh my pride was was down in the drain, you see. And at that point in time, I still remember I told my father I wanted to be an uh an analyst. <laughs> and then he told me he said uh you know uh you know to to okay sorry there's more yeah okay i I'll, i'll get to that hang uh thanks so uh, my my father told me he says uh you know you uh, he knew that when i was in kindergarten i was struggling tau memang struggling susah right and then when he when i told him i wanted to be an analyst he said uh son 
I think better not not think too high lah. And then uh, what happened was uh, I followed my dream, took the step by step, and eventually uh, yeah I you know many years later you know compared to my other friends yang takut kan all tak gerak all never move they are all stuck at that level. I actually just just jump lah you know takut lah you know if I make mistake okay whatever people shout at me whatever you know it's 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 life you know no one can be always happy with what what you do right. Um, so yeah, so that that's the thing. Okay, uh, Hang, I, I read that that comment. Um, yeah, actually, right now, to be very honest, I noticed. Okay, this is not the most uh traditional advice, but I noticed that uh with the internet we can learn a lot of things, right? And with the internet also we can connect with buyers and sellers, right? Uh, we if you have some knowledge, right? And if you're willing to work, right? I think sometimes uh <laughs> going to university. May not be the best, uh, best path. Faham tak? Cuma, you need to know what you like. And you need to be very good at what you do. And you need to do, you need to be very good in, uh, in marketing what you do. It's no point me being the best financial uh, analyst. Okay. Example over here. Look at all the, the, uh, petu, fi- uh, finance, finance, uh, uh, petu vlogs, right? You can see lah. Some of them, okay, will there be a, Yes, yes. I'll come up with a, a petu investment tutorial soon. Um, okay. Uh, so if you look at all the financial vlogs, right? I notice some of them always talk about like uh, they are always reviewing products, and you know, and I, I, you know, it's beyond me. They got twenty k views and what twenty k twenty k fans and whatnot. I'm still stuck with one one k fan. Okay. The the point which I'm trying to make over here is this, right? It's no point building the best mousetrap. When no one knows about it. Okay, let me repeat that again. It's no point building the best product if no one knows it. Right? It's better to build something where where you market it really well. When you market a product really well, right? Uh, people will go after it. Point in case, at one time, GoPro. GoPro's product, the camera, is just like, you know, it doesn't take that 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 well of a, of a camera and whatnot, right? The the quality. But it we even listed. And it's all about marketing. So, uh, guys, if you guys are stuck, you know, if you guys are wondering, look at your passions, build your passion up, and try to market it, right? So even me also, you know, I'm 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 out here, you know, and my my whole basis is investing is simple, memang simple, right? People make it so complicated and stuff like that. The results speak for itself. You look at all my older videos, uh, you can actually see. Uh, what what my stock picks are. Okay, guys, uh, Sigrun, I'm gonna. I think. Uh, uh, I, I think record another video in the next two minutes. Um, and uh, this is an investment video. If you guys are interested, uh, it's about the Squid Games. I wanted to record this video when Squid Games were popular, but tengo tengo, you know lah. <laughs> I malas. I this. I that. So. Okay, so anyway, and now me rambling. I'm gonna record another video in two or three minutes. Uh, I think I'm gonna change my location in 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 this 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 vacation place. So at least uh, you guys get to to just uh, uh, I I guess get a different view of everything. Okay, guys, with that, uh, hope to see you guys uh, soon. All right, take care.